What is up and welcome back and in today's video I'm going to show you the swivel effect. You can add this little detail to allow your moves and it really is going to make you more shiftier and more deceptive. It's going to have that defender thinking you're going one way then with that swivel effect you're going to change direction so it can really help you out on the basketball court. So with that said let's get into all the small little details that make a big difference. So to begin, why this is so effective on the basketball court is because it really looks like you're trying to go. Lots of times when you do a move, right, like that, you're trying to do a blow by. The soil effect kind of mimics that because when you are trying to drive past somebody, you have this little leaning motion, right, like this. You see a little leaning motion? Now the swivel effect mimics that because you're going to have the little leaning motion and then go the opposite way like you saw. So it pretty much is going to be having that little deceptive movement like that. You see? And that right there, that little movement can have that defender sliding over. Okay? So I'm going to do a live demonstration that I'm going to keep explaining how you can add this to your bag or how can you improve your movement that you already have. Now I want to start off by saying that if you are going to add this swivel effect to your move, it does help out a whole lot if you make it seem like you're trying to attack. For example, if I'm trying to do an around the back, got to make it look like going that way, right? The leaning, the little leaning factor, make it look like I'm going that way and then change direction. If I'm going to do a blow by, but it's going to be a crossover, I'm going to make it look like I'm going that way and then cross over, right? Like that. Have that little leaning factor to your move, okay? So it is going to help out if you're in that attack mode. And what's going to allow that is having a little bit of a wide stance. When you have a wide stance, you have a lot of power, you can really load. But if you are somewhat narrow, you can still do it, but it's not gonna be as explosive because it's a lot harder to push off when your feet are close together. So try to have that for starters. Whatever move you're going to do, be somewhat wide and then it also helps if one foot's a little bit more in front of the other. And for other moves, they can be parallel, but to keep it simple, we're gonna use this type of footwork, right? This type of footwork, where one foot is ahead of the other one, okay? So that's gonna be number one. Make it look like you're trying to attack with this type of stance. It's going to be wide, so you're gonna have enough push and force. And then you're going to have to learn how to tilt forward, right? Tilt forward. Why? Because when you are trying to get past somebody, your body naturally does this. You see that? Naturally it does that. Nobody really drives past somebody standing straight up, right? You can, but it can look somewhat awkward. Plus you're going to lose momentum, power, and speed. So definitely and be that attack motion. Now, a rule of thumb I like to use is try to be lean a little bit forward past your knee, right? Like this, really does look like you're trying to drive, right? You're like this, really does look like you're trying to drive. And then learn how to lean forward. So if you're ready like this, learn how to sell this movement, like that, you see that? And your body naturally wants to maybe tip forward. So when the defender slides, then you cross over the other way. In between the legs dribble. And then you go like that. See how that works? Okay. So like I said, it is going to be very lethal because it really looks like you're trying to go. Then you're changing direction. And to really get it down, you got to have some timing for it as well because Try to go too fast and then switch. That defender might not take the bait. He might be sitting on it and then you're already going, he's gonna follow you. So really, 
sell that movement, have them bite. Once he's sliding over, then you're gonna cross over. And that right there might take you some time to get. You're going to try it over and over, get practice in, get that muscle memory, and then you're gonna start feeling that defender. You're going to feel when he's actually sliding over. You might even see it too. Once you get good at it, you're moving and you see that defender hop over or react, and then you know you already have them once the crossover is happening. And this is going to happen really, really fast. Like I said, it is going to take time. It's not gonna be automatic where you can feel that defender. But as long as you're practicing, you are going to get it down. So I am going to give you some tips that are going to help you just improve this move in general. One of them is going to be without the ball, take that stance and learn how to lean like that. Okay, this right here, really gonna help you out a lot. Keep your balance, develop strength because it does take strength in your legs, in your knees to be able to do this, right? Okay, so practice this, this type of movement, really gonna help you out big time. Now, the next thing I want you to do also is learn to have very good ground feel with the front of the leaning foot. That one right there, you don't want to be flat-footed. A lot of young players, they'll stomp like that, they'll go, that whole foot is landing flat. So what does that mean? Once you're landing flat and you are swiveling, then you have to push into the ground and have that heel elevate. Then you move the ball a little bit. When you're flat, then you're gonna lean forward, then you're gonna have this happen, you see? So you're losing time doing that. It's more effective when you're like this, and you're already preloaded. Maybe you can see it with the camera or not, but my heel is a little bit elevated. So when the movement happens, I'm already gone. I'm not losing time loading up, loading up that flat foot. I'm already ready, loaded, and ready to go. Okay, that's gonna be a big detail. So definitely, if you feel you're doing this move and that defender is somewhat staying with you is because maybe you are sitting too flat on your moves, being flat footed. That's gonna be a big time key. And you can practice that again, have a real good feel in the front when you're leaning, have a real good feel and be okay having your body move forward, right? And then switch the footwork. Be okay leaning forward, where your body wants to come forward, and then like that. You see that? Like that. Between the legs dribble, like that. But that little movement, you wanna have that little movement. Like that, okay? So all that right there is really gonna help you out a whole lot. And if you have a mirror in front of you at your house, you can practice what we just talked about at your home. It doesn't have to be on a basketball court. See how it looks like to the defender. If you're really selling the movement, your moves, right? You can even have a ball. It's okay if it's carpet or maybe tile or wood floor if you don't get in trouble, right? And just go. Oh yeah, that looks good. Try it again. Okay, I like that, I like that. Try it over. And you can convince yourself, hey, it really does look like I'm going this way. Or you can see what you're doing and can spot little things you don't like. For example, if you're going like this, right? If you're inexperienced, you might be doing that. You think you're doing it right, but a defender is going to read that. Your arm swinging, right? He's going to read that. And like I said, I really like to practice this with players with the in-between dribble. Why? Because they naturally get wide. If you are trying to do a crossover, you might be doing a lot of this movement, which is okay. You might be going, you might be stepping out, right? But if you just want to practice strictly on just the swivel with your feet planted, 
very good at doing the in between the legs dribble because it naturally lends itself to that movement. But like I said, experiment, use your creativity, add it to a lot of different moves, in and out, around the back, right? The, around the back, a straight crossover. See, like that. So it's all going to be your creativity, how much work you put into it, and you are going to get it down. So hopefully, you can add this to all your moves. Like I said, it really is going to make you more sneaky, more tricky, more deceiving. So try to add it. And you're going to be an even better basketball player on the court. So that's going to be this video. Hopefully you got something out of it. And if you did, please like and sub. I am a smaller channel. Every little bit goes a long way. We'll be back next time with more. Until then, peace and much love, basketball family.